Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on Barbarian. It's been a minute since last time we touched this class, but in today's video, this is exactly what we're gonna do. With the new patch that recently came out, we got ability to craft this beautiful chess piece. Previously, previously, I don't think you were capable of wearing this chess piece on a barb, but apparently now you can. And what this chess piece does in particular, it gives you an ability um, to have all the additional dexterity and all the additional action speed that comes with it. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 7% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider press the subscribe button if you're interested in variety of broken builds, guides and uh, other stuff related to dark and darker because this is what my whole um channel is based on but um anyway let's go back into today's video so pretty much this is what we're gonna be playing with in today's video all right well i'm gonna include the buying process i will try and buy all these items on market for the most part for the most part your main goal and focus should be action speed action speed is definitely something that's gonna benefit barbarian a lot action speed is something that barbarian doesn't have as much but for realistically realistically if you want to make this class good you have you gotta have everything you can't just have uh you know just dexterity or just uh vigor or just strength or just agility nope it's just not how it works you have to you you gotta have a really good combination of a little bit of everything you gotta have a little bit of additional damage you gotta have a little bit of action speed you gotta have a you know decent birdish a little bit of armor penetration like you gotta have a decent chunk of health you you gotta have a little bit of pdr like you gotta have literally everything also also you can go with negative move speed you gotta be at around 300 etc so pretty much you really gotta you know put some effort into building a good kit for barbarian because low tier barb low, low tier gear barb doesn't really do much you know what i mean but um basically this is what we gonna do in today's video we're gonna try um and use this little combination against all the metas currently there is and we're gonna see how far we would be able to get in usually usually when i play on a barb there is only one class in my lobbies and that's my absolute counter which is cleric and we're gonna try and go mess with that class in particular because i do believe that's the one of the most popular classes currently in solos and withers withers also got overly popular because well i mean basically this is what i can say about wizards in the current day and age ignite wizard does um arguably more damage than the pre-patched bonk cleric so ignite basically ignite wizard is just kind of kind of broken but um in today's video we're not going to talk about ignite wizard we're gonna play on a barb and basically this is exactly what we're gonna do so yeah right now i'm gonna include the buying process of the whole gear set so you get to see um you know what i'm gonna buy and right after that one we're gonna hop into the game and it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to skip ahead but um yeah anyway i'll see you in the dungeon okay okay everybody i will try to explain what i'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy this bird dish mainly due to the fact that it has armor penetration and it's the cheapest piece combination of both make it a valuable attribute to our gear set so basically then i'm gonna be aiming for the close pants for action speed because action speed rocks and the cheapest one goes for just uh, 250 gold that's fucking robbery i would say okay so the next piece is gonna be the rubber silver vestment once again i'm not gonna try too hard i'm just gonna buy the cheapest one with action speed and um yeah we're just gonna buy a simple as that the beauty of the um, um ruby silver doublet mainly due to the reason it gives you all the dexterity you would ever need which makes it really damn good previously you were not able to wear it but now you can which makes it really damn good okay 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 let's see all right those are too expensive honestly but um let's see which one I'm trying to make more or less a uh, budget kit while at the same time making sure that uh you know ha we have some effective stats the stats i'm going to be aiming for is going to be the debuff duration agility action uh, um, basically anything so here we have a debuff duration agility for only 500 gold honestly you could have buy a way better barbuta helmet for cheaper um, but um, you know it's not always about the stats it's also about the drip but you better be looking for physical power action um agility all that good stuff didn't take too much time to find the decent rainforest gloves 
up until the point that I came across this pair that um, offered pretty much a little bit of everything, a little bit of action, a little bit of physical power. Definitely not going to hurt. We're just going to buy them. We do need a little bit of agility, and the reinforced gloves offer you a little bit more armor, which is pretty damn good. I'm going to throw on a bunch of bots just in case. And also we have a whole more stuff to pick from. Well, there is not that many pairs of boots I have, so probably have to buy one. Never mind, we have light foot boots with dexterity and additional move speed, which is pretty nice. I'm not sure which clock exactly I'm gonna get, but definitely the one with action speed. I feel like this grim smile I that we're looking for the one with action speed. This one will absolutely slab. The price of those is gonna be around 600 gold on market currently. So yeah, we also gotta look for necklace of peace. I have a bunch, but um, the one that I'd be interested in would be the one with agility and health. Maybe maybe if we get a little bit of armor penetration on top, definitely not gonna hurt. But it's okay. We'll just pick whatever the one. I could buy one, but um, it's okay. I have too many of those. Nah, this one suck. I had one decent um, but I I. Genuinely forgot where the fuck it is. Nah, this is not it. Okay, I found it. Max cells, armor pen, and agility. Pretty much most ideal stats you could ever ask for, especially for British. You need all of that. Okay, now let's switch up our class and we're good to go. We want to stay above 100% uh, move speed. Ideally, ideally aim for 310. But um, it's going to be pretty hard to achieve that number without double move speed um, boots or without um, um, double ring of quickness. Okay, maybe I get to come across a decent chunky cloak with action speed. Let's actually see. The purple ones are actually quite expensive, holy heck. When the um, blue quality cloaks do exact same thing, but... Um, more cost effective we're gonna buy one for 250 gold and that's gonna be our final choice for today's video i feel like this is the whole build pretty much this is what we have everything looking pretty decent i have a pretty good combination of action speed health debuff duration pretty much everything that you ever need and also especially when it comes to fighting squishy classes the francesca axe is gonna be um, very very important so make sure don't be greedy, buy a bunch of those. I usually bring around 15 to 20, especially if I'm trying to hunt someone very geared. Those are going to be extremely helpful against um, like rogues and stuff. Reason why I bring so much is because they're actually very cheap, only 38 gold per piece, and the price hasn't really gone up or down. Barbarian could be very, very effective if you bring enough of those. The games where I forgot to bring Francesca Axis, those are the games where I fucking deeply hated my existence. But yeah, I think so far so good. We got everything we wanted. This is my build. We're gonna be playing with Berserker and Potion Chugger. Robust, Crush. I'm not sure if there are any perks that could benefit us more than this combination. But yeah, we're just gonna hop in and we're gonna go clap some chicks. You could possibly go for Iron Will. But I'm just not a big fan. It's like I don't, I don't think I need it that much. But it's gonna definitely help you against uh, withers for sure. Okie dokie. Looks like we have someone here. Okay. Brown shield. It's a little lame. Not necessarily counter, but um, could be a little problematic. It's manageable though. We have another guy here. Holy heck. If anything, I'm more interested in killing this guy and then I'll come back fighting fighter. Okay. Ah, it's too fast. I miss. Disappointment. That's potion sugar, I would assume. Ow. That'd be nice to get a free hit on him. I got stuck. The guy has double grim smile rings. Nice throw. Oh, I'll take it. Bitch. Let's see if he's gonna try and push me. 
Oh yeah, brother. I'm very down to fight, my homie. Okay. I honestly thought he would try to body block me. It's okay. Okay. He's so tanky, holy cow, brother. Well, he has 180 health, more or less. Now, brother, you ain't getting your way. Okay. GG. You have a fighter right above. Let's try and loot this guy up really quick. He should have some Francesca axes. At least try to throw some at me. I'm definitely gonna be in need of some of those Francesca axes. Oh, bitch. He didn't even know that I was here. It's okay. I gotta try and take some of his cheese. His rings has action speed. Not a better placement, by the way. Mm. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, that will be very helpful. Okay. Let's fuck with the fighter now. I'm not really scared much of fighters with this build. Especially if a fighter have a shield and um, army sword or falchion. I'm not really scared of that too much. If you had a hitter shield, that would be a different story. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling it. It's fine. I'm gonna chase after him for a bit. I haven't even used my Francesca axis. If anything, he's gonna be at full HP. Headshot. Okay. GG. And by the way, this was the geared guy with the blue bis. He like, um, had all the right attributes. Oh shit, those rings gonna be expensive. Hey, his whole set is actually pretty interesting. He definitely had like around 60% PDR of that build, for sure. And probably around 140 health, more or less. Maybe less though, because um, he does have um, heavy gauntlets. But overall, yeah, he is pretty geared. I honestly want to take his whole blue kit and play with it, but um, it's okay. We're playing on the barb. If I'd be interested in building a fighter kit, I'll just build a fighter kit. <laughs> Always gotta use those blue potions. They're definitely gonna help, even if you're not gonna come across anyone. They will increase your chance of survival if you get landmine. Someone definitely was here, but um, I have no fucking idea where. Someone used all the arrows. Seems like it was a act of a self-defense. Well, I guess I see a reason what it was all about. And also, based on the fact that um, in the top right corner you could see the names and basically you could see the source of damage. And if there is nothing, it's either some specific source that couldn't be recognized, such as uh, animals. Animals can't be recognized. Basically, just gonna be uh, shown as uh, this. This guy is very geared, by the way. Definitely would be interesting killing him for sure. He's gonna be a hard target, though. But it's okay, I'm confident in my throwing skills. I can throw any winning advantage. I'm really good at it. Wow, that was such an impressive jump, by the way. Ah, uh, there is no ledge. Oh, well. Not sure what was his plan, or what is he even planning to do. Let me see if I could open the gates up so he'd go and bother with mobs. 
Oh, well, never mind. He decided to actually come down here. Okay. Keep in mind, the guy is very tanky, so basically what I do here is almost does not matter. Okay, that was a horrible throw. It's fine. It's not that deep. Even one bottle wouldn't be enough to kill him. Okay, that was a massive throw. It's fine. I can repeat this process all over again. It's okay. In fact, I don't even need Francesca access to kill this guy. Even if he turns bear, I will fucking control him from start to the end. So it doesn't really matter to me. I fought so many droids that there is one class that I could say I'm uh, feeling quite confident about, and that's Druid. I feel a lot less confident fighting um, clerics, but Druids, oh boy. Fucking give me all of them. Usually, usually, the we're gonna do is they're gonna turn into rat to run away. It's like the uh, safe gateway. But also, if you hit in the right time, right before they turn into rat, they will first switch their health pool, and only after that, they will turn into a rat. So basically, they will end up with no HP and die. That also a possible way to kill those. You guys so scared, holy cow. Okay, he's gonna go to their left. There is no passage there, so not sure what his plan is. He used the shrine? Interesting. Okay. What is your plan, brother? Okay. Probably gonna turn into a bear. He tried to turn it, but didn't work. Okay, he used his E. Let's just wait it out a little bit. I still have two more Francesca axes. Alright, let him get hit a couple of times. <laughs> Fucking easiest target. He got hit third time. Oh yeah, you can't miss that. And fourth time. Oh god, bro. I think he's not feeling it. <laughs> there was a solid delay between him dying and him realizing that he actually died. Holy cow. He was like, yep, fucking, I'm done with this. I'm done with this game, man. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, that's actually pretty good. I like the, his gear set. Got a little bit of action, a little bit of strength, a little bit of stats. Yeah, physical damage. Definitely not bad, not bad. So we take that. The mace will easily go for 400 on market. Pretty good. He also seemed like he killed somebody. But I don't really have much space. Okay. Maybe a better quality bandages or mats would be handy. Let's see. That's alright. It's definitely not bad. Yeah, definitely not bad. Go try and hunt down more people. I haven't killed a single cleric yet, which is a disappointment. Wait a second. Is this guy a cleric by any chance? <laughs> no, no, no. This is not a geared one. This is not a geared one. So even if I kill him, it's uh, I'm not going to consider that as a cleric. Half cleric. Half a cleric, you know. Like, <laughs> Let's open up the portal so, and try to bait him. We're going to smack him once. He's going to try to run to the portal. And then I'll do my best to throw every Francesca at him. That usually works, by the way. Okay, body hit. Okay, Francesca time. One, two. Actually, he almost made it. I started doing the third attack animation, and that third attack animation took me quite a while. But oh well. I should have tried to cancel it early. But, um... Yeah, the guy didn't really have much, but he have a troll's blood, and troll's blood is very worse to kill him for. Kind of want to take the uh, rapier, but um, it's okay. Yeah, I mean that ring is fine, I guess. Mm, what do I want to take here? I think I'm pretty good. 
Yeah, I kind of want to take the rapier, but um, don't really want to throw anything. Ah, it's fine. Let's just go into the next one. God damn! Look at this respectable young druid. Bunch of purples. I have not seen those boots in a while. In fact, the only version of those boots I saw was the gray one that comes from Squire. Looks like there is a geared bard. Let's try to sneak up on him. <laughs> oh shit, brother. This boy is juicy. Holy cow. The homeboy is geared. We gotta hunt him down. Period. No! No, 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 no. I didn't bring no fucking princess hexes. Oh my fucking god. No, this is so Joe over. This is so not good. What am I supposed to do with princess hexes? This is not the, the way the class is supposed to be played. Fuck, there is such a gear guy. I rushed way too fast to get into the game. And I instantly fucking regretted it. Wait, what the fuck? I did not hear any sound behind me. That's weird. I was trying to break some boxes to find princess axes, but um, it is what it is. Well, let's do the usual, you know, <laughs> demo special. In today's menu, we got a little bard and we gotta cook him thoroughly, you know, make sure. This time around, it's gonna be... Um, well done, you know. Medium rare isn't an option because I don't have enough princess axes. We gotta cook him thoroughly. Make him really fucking annoyed. And also little tech. You gotta hit the sides of a fucking doorway. Make him think that I don't have a crush. I gotta make sure I don't get ambushed by rogues. Because um, the amount of times I got ambushed in a situation like this. Well, it actually hasn't happened... Even once this wipe, but in the previous wipe it happened a number of times because I was uh, way too zoned in. So yeah, you gotta look around from time to time. Also, there is like four very geared rogues in this lobby, so you never know when the one gonna strike, so you gotta be careful. This bard is a threat, but rogues is a much more of a threat. It's also a very popular area. Where people go and kill Cyclops. Because, you know, Cyclops drop some cheese from time to time. Especially of, uh, you know, people go to farm gold. They always end up here. Oh yeah, he's getting into it. He's getting into it. He's starting to follow the path. It's like... It's like training a dog in a way, you know? It just, um... Wait a second, what the fuck is going on here? Holy cow, this rogue is incredible! Wow, what a chad, holy cow, this is insane. GG, so Joe over, I should have fucking kept, it's fine. Let him get his stuff back, it's not that deep. I gotta go and loot the uh, bard. This was one of the gear rogues, I probably should have chased him down, but this guy's gear set is way more valuable than the rogue. As is. Also, since it's gonna take him like probably another 15 to 20 seconds to, you know, heal up, probably I shouldn't worry too much about him, about getting landmine. But um, yeah, I should be cautious anyway. Those rogues are actually quite scary. But um, for the most part, rogues don't really possess that much stress, only when they get you off guard and land the initial two hits. While remaining at the full health, so that's when it becomes an issue. But other than that, I never really think of rogues as a class that possesses a lot of threat. Only when they can get you off guard, but... Um, if you die a couple of times, it's okay. But for the most part, if you're scared of rogues, you're just incompetent. So far, I died to rogues the total of 12 times. And out of 12 times, 7 people got banned. And um, there wasn't uh, any more instance where the rogue possessed any threat. Like at all. There is this one. Genuinely interested to go and fuck with him. Looks like there is another guy to the right. So yeah. 
We're gonna be playing as the rogue a little. We gotta wait out until some of them starts fighting and then we'll just engage and win. You know, simple as that. Sometimes we gotta be a little bit sneaky. That was a little awkward. Oh, right in the face, brother. Oh no. Homie is dead. But, on the other side, we got a free haircut, which is pretty good, I think. You know, gotta get those freebies. Okay. What the fuck is that guy doing there? Is that you, brother? Yeah, it's me. It's me. Protect me. Oh. There is an evil rogue. Protect me, brother. Love your bitch, bro. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. How did he fucking find out that it was me? <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. Hello. What are you? A bard? What class are you? Nah, it's okay. No need to kill him. Okay. Okay, okay. We got way too much this game, so we might as well go into the next one. Alright, so what do we have in this game? We have a Giga Geared Cleric, we have a Geared Fighter, a lot of health, a lot of PDRs. And we have a um, Geared Slayer, as well as we have a Geared Wizard. Not bad. This wizard is definitely interested to smoke me. Not sure why did he not put his fucking cape on. This guy is definitely not gearless. Mm, okay. I'm not really interested in fighting this guy though. I'm interested in killing this guy for sure. Because uh, I could kill the wizard anytime, but uh, fighting cleric. It's definitely something that I need more practice with. Because uh, Clerics is your natural counter. And winning Cleric is actually not that easy. This is not bad variety of a Clerics that I'd like to practice against. Um, oh no, he's gonna get away. Oh well. He's running Smite and Divine Protection, and that's my direct counter by the way. So. Gotta be a little careful here. Fucking bitch. I completely have no idea what that wizard went, but I heard steps here. So I would assume maybe that's the guy here. Oh, that's the PDR fighter with the long sword, my homie. Alright, well, basically I'm gonna show you how to kill long sword fighters with the bardish. It's not hard. It's really not hard at all. Just uh, one step at a time. And one headshot. Choo -choo. I think this guy had like um, 150 health and 50 PDR. His build is slightly better than the one that I've shown in my video. The uh, Longsword Fighter. Hey, his build is pretty good, I like it. Wow! He finally put a clock on, holy cow! This is incredible! God damn! Oh, I have enough princess guys so I could go and mess around with them. God, that would be so sick I would be able to land that hit. But oh well. Holy cow! The homie climbed up all the way there. <laughs> he thinks he is safe. Now, nah, honestly, he's probably safe though. <laughs> not fucking pushing a wizard. Nah, not happening. No, I, it will happen eventually, just uh, not here for sure. Fuck this spot. This guy is a fucking creep, holy shit. It seems like that's the time when he's gonna try to engage. Holy fuck, he's fast one. Wow, that was a sick jump. Oh. I can't push him right now. I have too many mobs on me. The moment I will walk up there, he will fucking clap me. Best bet would be kill a bunch of mobs. What the fuck? I did not hear fucking noise. Jesus. Oh my god, this is so not good. It's fine. Just gotta make this jump. I almost died, but... <laughs> Holy cow. That was a geared wizard, so I had to be very careful with him. I still almost end up getting cocked. But oh well, it is what it is. Bro, pretentious bitch fucking came in with full 
additional magical blues, purples, didn't wear a cape until the very fucking end. Motherfucker. <laughs> After making my last video, there have been so many fucking clerics, but I can't find a single one of them. Like, what the heck? Alright, brother. Yeah, we'll just go separate. No, no, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll just go separate direction. I keep my word. I'm not attacking for, you know, when I promise. Alright, brother. Okay. Mr. Cleric. Alright, I gotta heal up a little. I won't get hurt by that again. That kind of sucks. A little. He's not gonna stand a chance, though. Like, he's probably already dead. That was a good move, though. A mob killed him, not even me. Are you fucking serious? Holy cow. Bro, we have to fight. We found each other three times in a row. Okay, okay. Oh, he died to a goblin? I see, I see. Ready when you are. It wouldn't be me if it wouldn't be with Francesca X. Sorry, brother. But I found him fucking three times over the lake. It, we just had to fight. Like, I would understand that I found him once or twice, sure. But the fact that I found him, like, fucking three times, and I went completely, you know, separate direction, but still end up finding him. I ah, just... Too much. This guy has literally equivalent of gear to me. If anything, his gear set is arguably slightly cheaper. We have someone here. What the heck? Alright, well. This is a geared cleric, by the way. Not trolling. Oh, let me just get away. I did a little mistake here. Something that you could work on. Make a jump when you sheath and unsheath your weapon. Definitely will be helpful. This is gonna be a fucking tough fight. Probably he could even kill me though. He's gonna try to body block me. There's one thing that I learned about clerics when I was playing on a cleric. Basically, you're not allowed to fight them when they have a smite on. That's where you die. If anything, make sure that um, they at least use divine protection and not smite. Divine protection is just gonna give them invincibility. But the smite will fucking make them hurt real hard. I thought it would be a free hit here. Okay, he is smite. Let's kite him around. Ideally, we also use a blue potion. Let's see, just looking for the right opportunity. He's backing away. Okay, one headshot, two headshots. He used it. He's very low. He's fucking eating them hits, holy cow. I think he's one shot away from dying. Oh yeah, he was. GG. Oh yeah, this guy was a PDR monster. All the right attributes, PDR, stats, health. Oh god damn, very geared guy, holy cow. Sheesh. Definitely not bad. Oh, also he killed the legendary barb. There is a legendary raper in his inventory. Yep, that's the one. Holy cow, birthday. The homie came and prepared. He should be more confident fighting other barbs with a gear like that. He was my equivalent. The only difference that I have is uh, I have slightly more action speed and he has slightly more move speed. His barbuta helmet is better than mine, by the way. Not even trolling. Still, I haven't found a lobster cleric. My disappointment is immeasurable. Okay, okay. No way! Is this what I'm thinking? That's the guy that I think it is? A lobster c fucking cleric. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I really need a fucking extra kit on my cleric. It's been a minute since the last time I was able to come across those. Holy cow, this makes me happy, brother. 
I'm fucking fully prepared. I have a bunch of Francesca axes. There is absolutely nothing that could save you, my homie. Just a matter of time before I will burn you out. Well, here how you can kill a very, very geared cleric like that. Basically, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna run in circles until they got judgment. They're gonna cast judgment. Your first step, walk away, use potion of healing, make sure you stay at health. Do a little bait, do a little kite around, turn around, make them use the judgment. Usually, usually they have a very slow brain reaction, so they're just gonna pre-pop it way before because well they're literally scared of you use a potion and then run at them throw one francesca fuck up your achilles strike that was a very calculated one headshot body shot that's okay two headshot and another one but i guess the last one wasn't really a headshot but it's okay we got another little lobster kit bro two kids in six hours unacceptable I made so many lobster videos and people are still not really fond of it or something. Come on guys, start buying those, start playing with them, you'd be surprised how much profit you'd be able to make by playing with lobster gear. But yeah, well anyway, I would say that was a good practice for us, it's been a minute since the last time we were able to fight someone this gear. Gotta give this guy credit, you know, he was interesting fight. And a little bit of practice for us. Oh yeah. Definitely a geared homie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Bro, he even got choker for additional magical damage. You gotta give him credit. Legendary magic stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw a bunch of stuff on the floor. So then we wouldn't need to fucking search his corpse again. Because it fucking takes like 15 seconds. We might as well instead just throw something that is... Uh, now very valuable and take what is, you know, off of the floor. That will work just fine for us. Okay, okay. Looks like we're good to go. Those are pretty good though, but I don't think they're that expensive. I haven't seen those actually, but I feel like for a cleric they're gonna be so damn good. Pretty much the rest is also pretty good. I haven't really seen anyone geared other than this guy and a couple of rogues, so... But I still do need to be a little bit careful. And so far, so good. I'm not sure which one I want to take, Heavy Gauntlets or Chapel. They both look pretty decent. Might as well throw all the bad quality bandages and... Uh, so we'll be able to fit the whole kit. It's okay. Yep, we want to have the full set. And we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Alright, the elevator has come down. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. With this, the video is gonna come to an end. What the fuck, you piece of shit? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's Demo. Pretty much, we haven't died with this whole kid. We played the whole day today. Yeah, I could definitely say this build is definitely freaking broken. Just make sure if you try to replicate the same build, make sure you aim for around 20% action speed and um, decent amount of move speed. Anyway, it's Timo and I'll see you in a dungeon. Looks like everyone is kind of been quiet here. <laughs> Guy got a kill and fucking decided to camp extract. I respect that. He definitely didn't want no beef.